Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church in Bemis Point. I, I, we've been working through the book of Titus. Titus was a book that was written by the Apostle Paul to a young pastor, kind of giving him instructions and telling him how uh, the first century church re should really work. He's also given him a lot of encouragement, and that's what we see in this. As disciplers, are we encouraging those that we're discipling? And that's what it's about, uh, to infuse courage into someone else so that they can walk the walk that they've been called to. Um, in verse 8, I'm going to start in Titus 3, verse 8, and I'm going to read through verse 11, and we're going to back up and talk about it. And I'm reading from the English Standard Version. This saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for people. But avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. As for the person who stirs up division, after warning him once, then twice, have nothing more to do with him knowing that such person is warped and sinful. He is self-condemned. Here we have this section of scripture where Paul is, like we said, infusing courage into Titus, this young pastor. He says, this is the infusion of a grace-filled life. The saying is trustworthy. I want you to insist on these things. These, these are the core things that Paul wanted Titus to understand, especially in this section of Scripture. Devote yourselves to good works. We are not saved by good works, but we're saved to good works. We, we need to pour into those things. They're excellent and profitable for people. When we have a church that wants to do good things for each other, um, that builds up the body of believers. Avoid these foolish controversies. Now, there are all sorts of controversies around us today. There are all sorts of opinions. And where we cross the line is when we try and force our opinions on others. We can't do that. As a matter of fact, Paul calls them here unprofitable and worthless. Let's not be unprofitable and worthless people. Let's infuse courage into people. And then he says this in the closing. As for a person who stirs up division, after warning them once and then twice, have nothing more to do with them. Do we do that? Do we walk away from these controversies or do we get really headlong involved? And I would tell you, it's better to walk away than to get headlong involved. Um, Paul calls that type of person that causes divisions warped and sinful. Division is a tool of Satan and we've seen Satan Curl that tool at the church just recently. We, we have to remind ourselves that those people are uh, warped and sinful. Um, they're self-condemned. They condemn themselves by driving division. Uh, let's have nothing to do with that. Let's walk away from it. So for Discipleship Today, my name is Pastor Bob Benson. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch.